Six Sigma is one of the best methodologies for managing the cost of quality because it works to build quality into every process. When approaching an organization or process that has a high cost of quality, teams and leadership can apply a triage-based method to reduce those costs. While no organization can remove quality costs 100%, the goal should be zero costs of failure, either internal or external, and minimal preventative and appraisal costs. First, teams should concentrate on costs associated with failures. It's often easier and less expensive to detect costs associated with non-conformance, and improvements that seek to correct causes for a few critical failures can have a big impact on overall quality and total cost. Instead of adding layers of quality programs over processes to ensure quality which only adds prevention or appraisal activities and increases the cost of quality, Six Sigma improvement projects build preventative measures into processes themselves. In other words, efficient Six Sigma processes are self-regulating. They have built-in checks and balances that work to constantly reduce defects and rework. The benefit of building failure stop points into a process includes the earlier detection when errors do occur, which keeps hidden costs down. When the error can't make it to the next process or to the customer, you avoid many issues and costs associated with low morale, reduced customer loyalty, or product returns. Employees are able to support and manage higher quality. When quality is something employees have ownership of, they are more likely to work hard to create the best possible output. In contrast, Appraisal-style quality programs can spark feelings of paranoia at being closely watched or create a relationship in employee minds between the idea of quality and the idea of reprisal or correction. Poor performance on a continuous basis does need to be addressed, but employees should not default to a negative mindset when they hear the word quality. In-process quality assurance is actually more effective than post-process or over-process prevention and appraisal methods. Statistical process control and Six Sigma improvements can push a process to Six Sigma level. To ensure the same level of performance 3.4 defects per million opportunities quality assurance employees would need to review millions of parts and ensure only a very tiny few had defects. It's simply not an economical option for most, if any, organization. After teams use the Six Sigma and Lean process management methods discussed throughout the to reduce failure costs, teams can turn to prevention and appraisal costs. Often, in a process that is functioning at a high Sigma level, prevention and appraisal activities are a form of muda. They can be expunged from the process without impacting the end product, quality, customer satisfaction, or employee morale. In some cases, Removing prevention or appraisal from processes actually creates a positive impact on quality, production, and customer and employee satisfaction.